find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn me. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the no wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. <sighs> no, I'm not going to lie. I'm a good person. Two, two, five, five, four, eight. I wanted to help the meal maid, but I couldn't. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sarati, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed, too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget that. Hmm. Maybe there. It's terrible. How could something like that happen? There was. God alone knows why he let such things happen. You poor boy. I, I didn't understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ill. Bianca. Oh, not Bianca. That, is the word that girl. Of Satan and those who do his there was something there because I really don't remember. And you must not lose faith. If there was something, there was an option to save not the, the me, woman. And my husband either. So in comparison to the horrors he went through, I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Townberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Trebislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king, and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. For seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. Now, we're here. My lady, I'm still young. Beautiful. The best years are still ahead of you. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll 
go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Good night, my lady. Iubita, mi-a dus punga de chipsuri de acolo. Thank you. Cum e? Tot așa, a? 130. A, asta e ok. I am about to upgrade my PC, new CPU, after that. Only one upgrade to go, my PC will last me over a decade. Oh, that's so great. That's so great, Zio. My best PC for streaming. I'm not a coward. You father. Yeah, graphic cards are, are like PlayStation 5 these days. Take the torch from the table by holding. Okay, even better use Night Hope Potion. Lock picking open. Yeah, GPU at last. I have fire in the rain. The other gateway stairs. Hey guys. There's too few of us. But anyway, you prepare for a seat. How is wrong with these fires on the wind on on the rain? Use my command. All will end well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmos in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scout. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The Scouts give his sense to Scarlet and file Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did this guy say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Alright, we will. There are so many. Oh, who goes there? Lucian and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. 
Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Jimmy? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. God, a brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. Hmm. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and I don't like this. the castle for more clever weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lads. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skellig. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the streets. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? Don't. Sir, quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baltic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hamish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. It's a dark time. Move out! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalas people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Yes, sir. Can I be of help? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes. Yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battle of my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request to answer yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll do it you. Keep watch on the battle lands. Just a second. Pate Noster, qui es in seris, sanctificetur nomen tu, veniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tu. A bit more. Somehow it's... The sound is so low. Okay, unexplored, unexplored, 
a lot of unexplored things around here. Run, okay. Keep watch on the battlements. It's a private area. Hey, I don't know where to go. Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? Uh, yeah. If anything much will be happening today, you can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's going I will. Thank you. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time for rest, okay? And that's how long you want to wait. Wait until morning. Six. Let's wait until six. Why five and twelve are with the circle? the other way but let me eat something drink wine oh let's get some energy minus six why I'm losing energy energy minus three It's morning. Oh my god. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. He may be in for his crime. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Read 
Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the bastard who led the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Marbot von Aulitz. <laughs> I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talmur. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tomberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here. And I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who okay. have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Look at this view. Yeah. I'm the one who is going to kill you. Bury your loved ones in Scalis, start to sir, get a horse. Hey, don't step on the cabbages.
combat arena. here and I can mm. let's pick good out okay why did Sigismund raid Scalit? Why did Sigismund burn down Scalit and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Ratzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. What is Sigismund after? What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from the Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's village. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? It has a strategic position and strong fortifications. I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications. So it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. Oh. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Gutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Gutenberg silver is king. So Kuttenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured him. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kuttenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kuttenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas' most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. What do you know about the Cumans. Where did Cumans. these humans come from, anyway? Cumans. I don't know much about them. Only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power. Of course. I have to get to Scalitz. The robot, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Oh. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. Let's go with the speech. I only have two. Let's go with Robot, this. My parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad. Fail. I won't take Ooh, orders. You'll we'll have to wait loss. until everything settles down, and maybe your lord will change your mind. Oh, damn. Is 